England Lionesses Women's World Cup Laura Bassett Japan through to the final. England are out of the Women's World Cup after losing 2-1 to Japan. They had won praise from around the country for their performances. But a last-minute on goal by Laura Bassett saw them go crashing out. After the full-time whistle the Notts County player broke down in tears. England's women's football team were cruelly knocked out of the World Cup at the semi-final stage last night by a freak last-minute on goal. After a tournament in which they've exceeded expectations and drawn praise from around the country for their brave performances, the Lionesses, as they've become known, crashed out 2-1 to Japan. Laura Bassett, one of the team's star players in previous games, put the ball in her own net in the final minute of injury time when the ball cannoned off her foot and looped over keeper Karen Bardsley. As the final whistle blew, Bassett, 31, collapsed into floods of tears and was helped away from the pitch and waiting cameras by her teammates. The women's team had hoped to make it their first time in the final following performances which have shown up the perennially disappointing men's team. Wins against Mexico, Colombia, Norway and host Canada have seen interest in the women's game soar and led to hopes that more young girls back home will now take up the sport. But despite a strong performance, the women were unable to get past reigning champions Japan and will now face Germany in a third-fourth place playoff. England had looked the most likely to win the semi-final for much of the second half after two soft penalties in the first 45 minutes left at 1-1 at halftime. The Lionesses had 11 shots on target to Japan's four and rattled the woodwork twice in quick succession as they threw everything at the Japanese defense but failed to find a way through. With the game looking like it was heading for penalties, Japan suddenly launched counter-attack in the dying seconds of injury time. Japanese winger Nahomi Kawajumi made a run down the right wing before firing a ball into the penalty area, which Bassett looked to clear. Running at full tilt, and with an opponent waiting just behind her, Bassett lunged a foot at the ball, aiming to divert it wide. But, the ball flew off her foot and chipped goalkeeper Bardsley before bouncing off the crossbar and over the line. With just seconds left on the clock there was no time for a comeback, and England were knocked out in the cruelest of fashions. Until that moment, Bassett had been one of the standout players of England's tournament, and a contender for Bulburn and Bulkington, Warwickshire. She joined Bedworth girls football team aged nine, before moving to Coventry City to play in the Premier League North while still at school. In 2000, while undertaking a scholarship at Loughborough University, she joined the Birmingham City women's team, rising through the ranks to become their captain. A standout player for the England under-19 seconds team, she made her senior debut in 2003 during a game against Italy initially playing in midfield, despite playing a centre-back for her club. While establishing herself as a permanent fixture in the international team, she moved to Arsenal Ladies in 2008, before leaving for Leeds the following season, helping them with the Premier League. Ire of the match Her first World Cup appearance came in 2011 when she was substituted on for Ellen White in the final minute of England's 2-0 victory over Japan. She played in the 2013 Euros before World Cup qualification matches saw her become one of England's most capped players in 2014, now with a total of 54. Before the game this evening Bassett had tweeted fans to say ready to go now at the Fork semi-final. Feeling recovered, prepped and fully fueled. Thank you so much. While Bassett didn't speak following the defeat. England coach Mark Sampson said Bassett did not deserve to be the one sending England out, revealing he told the players, it's okay to cry. The coach paid tribute to defender, saying, look, Laura Bassett's name's on that score sheet but Giuseppe Thomas this England team this tournament, Sampson told BBC Sport. She's been courageous, strong and kept this team together. She didn't deserve that but she'd be looked upon as a hero, an absolute hero. People will remember the Laura Bassett who headed and blocked and tackled and kept this team together. England captain Steph Houghton added, there's no words to describe it.
I'm so proud of all the girls and staff. We've been on an amazing journey. That's football. It can be cruel at times but I think we can hold our heads high and pick ourselves up to go face Germany on Saturday. Single quote devil we want to try to finish third if we can, and we've gave a good account of ourselves throughout the tournament. Thanks of much for the support. It just wasn't to be today. Hundreds of sympathetic fans also took to Twitter to show their support for Bassett and the Lionesses who overcame the odds to even make it as far as the semi-final. Gary Lineker said, What a dreadful way to lose. Poor, poor Laura Bassett. Despite the gut-wrenching nature of the defeat, England's women were terrific and should hold their heads high. Great effort. Meanwhile, Jess Hennessy who plays women's football for Durham County added, My heart's just broken into a million pieces for Laura Bassett. England will now face a nightmare game against Germany next week to decide third and fourth place in the tournament, while Japan will face the USA at the final in Vancouver.